So today's one of my favorite days. Let me tell you something, a well-formed chest is absolutely important to the male physique. Females as well, but definitely to the male physique. So today I'm gonna walk you guys through my favorite chest workout. I'm gonna also have triceps involved towards the back end. I'll explain why. Stick with me guys, it's gonna be a good one. So the opener here is gonna be hammer strength, plate loaded machine. I thank God this gym has so much hammer strength, plate loaded things. A chest fly with it. I know it sounds weird, but at this point in my career, I'm no longer chasing size. It's all about maturation and development of existing muscles. So no need to really pack on a lot of thick mass. I'm just trying to perfect what I got. Also, I'm 36, so let's preserve these joints. So I do utilize a progressive overload. That means every set, I'm going a little bit heavier than the previous set was. Not a whole lot, but definitely want to challenge that muscle a little bit more than the previous time. Now, going to a cable fly is going to send more blood into the actual pec muscle. Typically here, this is done at the end of a workout. I'm doing it now with the whole concept of, it's derived from FST7, which is an awesome way to really promote good growth. At the same time here, I can use a lot less weight to get that uh, hypertrophy established. I'm 37, guys. I've got to save my joints. So again, the idea of middle of my chest workout going into an actual finishing move. Instead, I'm doing a fly move. It's really gonna promote a lot more blood into the actual muscle I'm training. I'm trying to stretch the fascia of the actual pectoral muscle. So to continue this chest onslaught, I just got done with the fly. I'm going into another chest press machine. This time, it's plate loaded, but more of an incline position. Now I'm going towards my triceps. Why do I do triceps on the same day as chest? Because as I'm doing chest, the secondary mover is my tricep. So since my triceps are already taxed, let's go ahead and finish them off. Again, I'm not size chasing. The whole idea behind my training is trying to get a good quick pump to facilitate maybe some more growth. But ideally here, just keep the actual muscle maintained. And if anything, I might get some actual growth, but no need to damage any more joints. Lord knows I've done that in my youth. When it comes to triceps, I'm gonna change the angles up a few times. Not a whole ton though, because truthfully, it's hard to single out each one of those three heads that make up the tri and tricep. So, and just like that, chest and triceps are done. Coupling those two together is an awesome way to get some new stimuli out of your chest and triceps. New growth underway. I am Ron Jones, your personal trainer here with practical advice for real world goals.